Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm going to be doing a full tarot card spread and a chakra tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn for November. Mm, I don't know why I say November, but it's almost here for October the 26th, the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th, and the 30th. This is to see what we can look forward to, what's going on, what may be reflecting us, what got us up in a turmoil or got us all out of the line because I'm not feeling too good at this time far as um, my emotions for stuff. Things is triggering me off and I'm ready to completely snap is where I'm at. And I got to keep that shit real. And um, I have two doctor appointments. I just came back from getting a haircut. I am extremely exhausted. I don't know why I had a good sleep, but I'm just not in a good mood. I kind of know a couple reasons why I'm not in a good mood, but that shouldn't take over my ability to keep my chakras in balance. But I just know that I'm having a root chakra problem. And... Being not in a deep, serious relationship, as I call it, is complicated. Because you can't just go out there and open your root chakra to everybody walking around. And also, my head chakra is my, my mind is a lot of places. And then my heart chakra is like, I feel like just closing it completely. And it ain't just with no relationship, just with everything. Because everybody's getting on my nerves. I got a text from somebody. I had somebody else talk stupid to me. And I'm just like, is everybody losing their fucking mind? And then I'm hearing about the riots that's going on in West Philly. I just don't feel like being around none of this shit. I just got my rental extended. Like, I'm ready just to jump in my shit. Go to the dentist today. Be the fuck out. And do tarot readings on my way down to the south. And go get me a room and have me some relaxation time. That's where my head is at about right now. So, I'm trying to figure all of that out. I'm going to go do what I do today. I'm waiting for something to come in the mail the next day or two. And maybe I'll do my moon readings and I'm down south already. I need some type of air and it's not working here. And when I get frustrated, either if I can't get down south, I'm going to go to my getaway room. Whereas though, is everything there, hot tub, everything, and I could just relax. But I got to get the hell out of here because I feel it. Like, I feel it deep down in my soul that I need to be leaving for a couple of days. It is there. So I'm starting to thinking about that. I still want to do my readings and stuff, but I'm thinking about um, going away uh, and maybe leaving on Friday or maybe even leaving Saturday early morning and go relax my mind, take my books, do my readings and be able to just fall back and enjoy relaxation is what I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So without further delay, I am going to um, do this reading to see what could be going on. I'm kind of doing this for myself. I'm a Capricorn, but usually I'll be having other Capricorns that's going through some same emotional situations and they be resonating. So I'm going to just do a full chakra, just like I would do normally. I'm going to read read it but then i'm not going to do too much reading because i have a um video chat with my doctor in about an hour and then as soon as i'm done that video chat i gotta be on my way to do my the deal with this surgery with my teeth then tomorrow i got the heart doctor so i guess like after i do what i gotta do today tomorrow the next day i need to take me like a quick little vacation up out of here that's what I'm feeling, and I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And while I'm on vacation, I'm not even answering no phone. Like, that's bottom line. I'm going to have that phone off because I'm going to take my laptop, and I got a phone number hooked up with my laptop, and I could, like, deal with people from that angle. And nobody got that number, and nobody getting that number. So that'll work out. But I think I need a vacation. And I think I'm going to book me or book me what I need to book me when I tomorrow. With my mouth better. Because right now, hmm, I can't handle it. And maybe I can call, like, where I'm going. I know people where I'm going. Like, come meet me at the room and stuff. And we could chill or something like that. Because the rest of this shit ain't working for me. And I'm tired. I'm, like, thrilled. Like, with everything. Like, I'm, like... 
I haven't felt like this in like two years, and I'm at the point where I'm just thrilled. Like, I, if if I if I still if I didn't know how to control my temper, I'd have threw these cards against the wall. That's how my that's how I'm feeling right now. So I gotta go. I don't fight hearing nobody shit. I don't fight hearing helicopters all day. I'm going to do what I got to do these like, next couple days. Lock myself down in my house and I got to go. And now I know everything will be straight with my car and I and everything will be good with the rental. I'm really going. It's no miles on the rental. I just got to worry about gas. So that's it. I, I can't take no motherfucker more. I keep that shit real. Universe, spirit guy, holy angels. Wow, that just flipped straight out. And it went in reverse mode. Self-esteem. It's saying I'm coming out of confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. And honestly, I pride the fuck am because every my chakras is all fucking out of whack. And that's the, the, the sacral chakra. So, this, this, this can't be lying. They say I'm coming up out of that. Like, I wasn't coming out of it. But they say I'm coming up out of it right now. I probably am. I'm unbalanced. I feel it. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels. Please tell my Capricorns what they need to know for October 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. What do my Capricorns need to know? What do my Capricorns need to focus on? Can you please tell my Capricorns what they need to know, what they need to focus on? Two cards came out. Seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity, right? I'm, clarity, knowing the truth, seeing what it really is, seeing what the fuck's really going on. Like, and that's crazy because sometimes as us Capricorns, we don't really see the real deal. We don't see what's really going on or we see it, but we act like we really don't see it. Or, or we don't open our eyes to seeing it, and that's not good for us. We got to start opening our eyes more and stop trying to sugarcoat what the fuck shit really is. And it says per perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. And that's bottom line. Like, that's crazy. And that's 37, and I'm going to read that. That's crazy. I went straight to the page. This card is an invitation to seek new knowledge and expand your perception of reality. See yourself or other people as spiritual beings on a journey. Recognize the patterns that are playing out in your life and the role you play or could play in the world. Take pleasure in being part of the ongoing development of the universal consciousness. Enjoy the process of gradually learning about your place in the world. Through introspection, we grow to understand ourselves. We're also beginning to see others, other people's situations in the world with a more expansive sense of clarity. Now's a great time for self-reflection, journalism, meditation, for looking within. Ask yourself to reveal a higher view of your path and be open to seeing anew. Be willing to let go of restricted ways of seeing things. Be open to not knowing and not understanding some things. Acknowledge new ideas. Slowly allowing yourself to evolve and your plans in the world to unfold. It's time to see beyond all preconceived limitations to the deeper truth within. Be present in the physical, but see beyond it. Opening to a wider view of your reality. Look for the positive and the good in all people and situations even amidst seemingly imperfect, imperfect, imperfectionists. Look for the beauty in life and it will reveal itself in you and to you. Take a fresh look at your at yourself and the world you are creating. Seek deeper meaning and underlying truth. Open yourself to the edges and viewing, seeing both the bigger picture and the finest detail from great heights. Call upon your inner eye to see the highest truth. Basically, you're just saying that see, the, see you got to start seeing the truth. Of a person, situation, or event, you got to open your eye. Like, don't close your eye because of a situation or you don't think this is right or nah, you bugging. It don't do nothing to bring you off balance like I am today. Like, I've been off balance like two days, honestly. Like, it's just too much. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And it's truth, knowledge, and clarity. And that's what came out. I'm trying to see what the other card was. I don't even know if I put it back on top, but if it's meant to be, it come back out. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell Capricorns what they need to know for October the 26th, 27th. They fell straight on the floor. 
That wasn't good. Now I gotta get them. And I hate doing that. Give me a second. And it was three of them. Sorry, I know how to hook it up, so when I gotta do something, you don't gotta be seeing me do all that extra shit. I'm gonna have to take one more because too many came out. Universe, Spirit Guide. Two more came out, and I'm gonna just let them come. One says action. It says movement, preserves discipline, and motivation. Basically saying that I gotta be motivated and take action in whatever I'm trying to do. If I'm trying to just be, be to myself or be in the moment or movement, discipline, motivation, and all of that, I got to just go ahead and just make action for my future is what it's saying. And then the other one I just found says inner child, playfulness, lightheartedness, innocent and wander. I need to let my light childness come out and just be free. And that's how the fuck I feel. And they both my sacral chakra, like I literally below your stomach, near your navel. Like I, I literally want to, I want to be this way. And this one is, um, your head chakra. And this one is your root chakra. Like, I just want to explore. Like, sometimes you try to explore and take action. You can't get, you can't explore with the right person. Sometimes it be like that. And when you don't explore, you trying to keep yourself a certain way because of certain situations of the way you feel. It don't work out that way. I'm telling you now. And that's what I see for my Capricorns. I gave you a meaning. I'm going to go ahead and do a full tarot reading on my Capricorns as well. Using my basic deck. I'm going to see what the universe got to say to us about what's going on here. And what's, like, what could we look forward to in these next few days? Because I know right now, huh? It's too much. I feel overwhelmed. That's what it is. I feel fucking overwhelmed. This card flipped out. Cutting through bullshit, the clarity and truth of a matter. Somebody that got a nasty attitude, and that's basically me right now. I'm just shuffling. That came out. I'm not taking it, but literally, that's how I'm feeling. I don't know what the fuck's really going on. And, and no aspect besides trying to get my health together. I don't know. And everybody getting on my nerves. I just had to hang up on somebody. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? You got me fucked up. Make you don't even want to have sex with the person. Like, I'm I'm good. Crazy. People crazy, yeah. Huh? And I'm off balance. I just want to see why am I feeling this way. See what maybe come up. Is why I'm going through this or feeling that way. Universe spirit guys, please let me read these readings accurately, efficiently, and quickly, and you I trust. Amen. Universe spirit guy, holy angels, please tell the sign of Capricorn what they got to look forward to. I told the 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. What do my Capricorns gotta look forward to? I told the 26th. Okay. 27th, 28th, and 29th. Mm. 26, 27, 28th, and 29th, and 30th of October. What do my Capricorns need to look forward to? What do my Capricorns need to look forward to? Universe, spirit, God, holy angels, please tell me what my Capricorns got to look forward to. Thought something else. What do my Capricorns got to look forward to? October the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. What do my Capricorns got to look forward to? Kind of crazy. 
The first card that came out basically for your past is a lover's is a choice you gotta make in your situation. A direction that could come up. It could have been already passed. Take what resonate, leave the rest. It's a choice you gotta make. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You coming up out of building up your pinnacles. Maybe because there's a choice that you gotta make. And if it's a loving situation in the past, maybe it has you off of balance, I would say. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You got the Knight of Cups reverse. You coming up out of um taking some type of chance or taking some type of offer from a glim fellow. You're not even fucking around like that. That was your past situation. You got the three of swords reverse. Thank God. You coming up out of some heartbreak, lies, betrayal. You coming up out of some pain in your present. Like you coming up out of something that gave you pain, but you still got some type of anxiety about something. The truth, clarity, a, a situation. You just not sleeping at night because you thinking about something. This is me right now. I got some shit on my mind and I'm trying to figure out which way to go because like, I'm about to make a move, and it's going to be a serious move, and once I make this move, I don't go backwards. So, it's like, I'm trying to figure this out and make sure that I'm making the right move, and it got me up at night, because this is me literally right now. You also got the um, Nine of Cups. This is somebody that motions is all over the place and everything like that. This is me. This is usually the, the uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. But this is me. And this is all the present energy. You also got for the um future, you got the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Like everything is up in the air, not going as, as planned. You got the judgment in that situation, which is a good card, but you're not taking a chance in some type of situation. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go clarify this three of swords. Universe, spirit guide, holy angel. Nah, they fell. I'm going to take them. You got the four of swords that says rest, retreat, and pray. Clarity of a situation. Then you got the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Then you got the five of swords. You coming up out of some um some you coming up out of some um half victory or some type of situation. Maybe you got a rest retreat and pray because of an Aries or or because this is a boss. This is a this is baby boss. That's what an Aries is. So maybe baby bosses make you pray retreat and stress. Because this is when you come out of stuff, but this is like sometimes because this card, this could be a death card with other cards, but it's not here so far that I see. But it may be it's saying that, you know, this Aries or, you know, I say Aries or Taurus is making you rest, retreat and pray. And maybe that's why you got uh, coming up out of a victory with this situation because you got the six of swords that say move forward and leave that past behind and maybe and that's clarity and truth. And maybe that's why you got this anxiety. And that's crazy because it seems like I'm reading my own reading. I'm going to clarify the, um, I'm going to clarify the emperor universe, spirit guy, holy angel, please clarify the emperor why is the emperor here one card fell out we got the will of fortune reverse the will's not in favor for that emperor universe spirit guy holy angel please clarify the will of fortune why is that will of fortune here for this capricorn what do the capricorn need to know why is the will of fortune here for the capricorn somebody want to offer you something but they nothing but a slippery fish is nothing real serious or maybe it could be that Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, or somebody could have been just the emperor you talk about. We're going to clarify that page of Pentacles. Why is that page of Pentacles here? Why is the page of Cups? I'm sorry, page of Cups here. Why the page of Cups here for my Capricorns? What do the Capricorns need to know? Why the page of Cups here? Why the page of Cups is here? Why the page of Cups is here? Why the page's cups is here? You try to come out. It says that everybody continue to go different ways. Nothing to be established. That's the Aries Leo. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm going to clarify that will the fortune reverse. Universe. Spirit guy, holy angels. Please clarify the will of fortune reverse. Why is the will of fortune reverse? Why is the will of fortune reverse? Please clarify the will of fortune. Why is the will of fortune reverse? Why is the will of fortune reverse? 
Please clarify the will of fortune. They don't even want to talk. Huh. All these fucking cards came out, man. And they deep. The first one that was on top was a painful ending. Because you won't budge. Even if it's good for your own health. You're cutting through some bullshit with the clarity and truth of the matter. You got the king of cups reversed. Your emotions is all over the place. You got to have strength in the situation. You trying to, you thinking about taking a leap of faith, but you can't, you just thinking about it. You got to make that first move. You coming up out, out of feeling like you bound and blind in the situation and you thinking about something you lost. That's deep. I'm going to clarify that six of swords. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Please clarify the six of swords. Why is that six of swords here? Maybe somebody could be coming up out of jail or somebody feel like they they in jail, a wounded warrior. You could be dealing with an Aries Scorpio, no, Aries Sagittarius or Leo. You got the Queen of Cups reverse. You got the moon reverse. Something that's, that was hitting is coming out. That's what it's saying. I'm going to clarify that moon. I'd use that as the Pisces energy. You got the two of cups reverse. The relationship is not on good terms. I'm going to clarify the knight of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? You want, you got a victory. You got a victory after all of this stuff in your present. This is the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So you got a victory. We're going to clarify what's this victory. Wow. You coming up out of the juggling and trying to balance a situation. You got the King of Pentacles, which is Taurus Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo, or it could be any sign. You moving fast in a situation. Something is built on faulty foundation that came tumbling down. That probably was a good situation. You got everything to make something happen. You got the Ace of Cups as a cup of a love and abundance from the universe to a happy, fulfilling life with everything you need with all your emotions in check. So whatever you went through, something's going in with somebody and then you're going to get happiness with another person or things going to turn up the right way. Out of the blue is what it's saying. I'm going to clarify the Ten of Pentacles for the future. Damn, the card came straight out. You got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You got the Six of Pentacles reversed. And you got the Star. Something you hope and wish for. We're going to clarify this judgment. You got the Nine of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Somebody that's flighty. They in and out individual. Hmm, I definitely know who that could be. You got the Empress, which is the person that could be pregnant, a lovely person, somebody that's higher than a queen. That's a Libra or Capricorn energy. And a card, wow, you went straight to the sun, to happiness. So maybe this queen may find out that she could be pregnant is what it could be. Or this is somebody that's just lovely and could have kids. That's what I'm seeing because the way this is looking is like this empress here maybe could be pregnant and it might bring her happiness. But this is a person that's flighty. So I don't think she's going to take a chance because this is the full reverse with this flighty individual. About her happiness that she might soon find out about. That's what I'm seeing. That's what it's saying, and I, I, I got, I got other things. My mind like surgery, so this, this reading probably ain't for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some angel whispers, and I'm gonna see what they got to say about this reading, and then I'm gonna shut this down. But there's a lot going on. I see a lot up in here. But it says I'm going to get straight back to happiness. That's in the future. But right now, I'm going to get my Ten of Cups. I'm going up there. Was that the 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
yeah, my Ten of Cups, and it's from the universe, and I got everything to make something happen because something was built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down. That's what it is. And I got a lot of stuff, so I don't know what it is. Universe, Spirit Guide, Holy Angels, please tell Capricorns what they need to know. One card flipped out for me. It says, stop worrying. Your desires are manifesting. So it's telling me to stop worrying. And everything is working in divine timing. So with this reading here, this is going to be for some Capricorn. I resonate with some of this reading, especially for the chakras. But for some things, I don't see it. But I'm going to listen to my reading again because when I do readings for um Capricorn and I know that I'm one, I always go back and listen to the reading and then I'll be able to be like, oh, all right, I see what's going on. I can't really tell by giving the reading right now without going and re-listen to it. And I don't have the time. So I just hope all be well. And if any Capricorns not on balance or something is wrong, like I'm asking the universe to give us some strength for the day so we can move forward in our daily life. Because at the end of the day, we very strong individuals and it takes a mountain to get us off our chakras. And all the balance. So, with that being said, it's early. It's like 9.30. I just hope everybody have a great day. I'm going to pull one more card and just see the outcome. I'm going to take three cards just to see what to look forward to. What's the outcome of everything. And then I'm going in the reading. But just don't stress i'm trying to tell myself that too but it'd be hard i already know i already know what it is but people will take us off our off our throne that's why i said i'm staying in the house for the next three days if i ain't have to go to these doctors that's why i made all the doctor appointments for 7 45 but set my teeth there's no way i could do it because the doctor i prefer don't come in until late in the morning but i don't play that shit i'm done tomorrow my appointment is 7 45 the other next appointment is Thursday like 9 o'clock and I'm going to be early so we could be in and out and then after that I'm in the house Universe, spirit, God, holy angels, please tell Capricorns what's the outcome look of this final situation for, for October the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. And remember this read, is this is definitely time-based. So whatever's going on. Sorry, I listened for everything. The three cards came out and they all was reversed. Was the two of wands coming up out of having everything in your hands. Or maybe having a whole world in your hands. Because this is a good card this way. But if you come up out of having everything in your hands, maybe you had too much in your hands. So you come up out of having everything on your shoulder and in your hands like you usually do. That could what that means. You got to take how it resonates. And then you got the wands. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So maybe that's a lot that you handling. And maybe you coming up out of handling all that because it's too much to bear. It could be that as well. You also got the death card reversed. This is when you won't budge even if it's good for your own health. That's a Scorpio sign. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be in their energy. Scorpios is emotions. So to me, I say Scorpio, but you could say Cancer. You also could say Pisces. You won't budge even if it's for your good health. And then you got the two of pentacles. It's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, which is your energy. You coming up out of balance. So either you coming out of being in balance or you coming up out of juggling two people or coming up out of a juggling situation. And it might be a situation that you don't even know nothing about. 
So with them three cards, that's what's coming up. That's the outcome of it. You're coming from having a lot on your shoulder or the world on your hand. I'm coming up out of having everything in your hand. You're not budging, even if it's good for your own health. And you're coming up out of being balanced. That's what it's saying. And that's the outcome of it. And that's how I feel right now. So this right here, I kind of resonate. So for my Capricorns, that's what it's saying, that we're going to be out of bounds. We're going to be coming up out of bounds. Because of something. And we're not going to budge even if it's good for us. And you could change the way it is reading. All 